You're watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network. I'm Nicholas Callis. These are your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Sunday, May the 3rd, 2020. Starting in the American League, the Boston Red Sox continuing to gain traction. They beat the Texas Rangers by two runs in this game. Heath Hembry got the win out of the bullpen. Brett Martin got the loss, and Brandon Workman now has 10 saves on the season. The Rangers had one more hit than the Red Sox, but the Red Sox managed to score two more runs than the Rangers. They broke the tie in the bottom of the eighth inning with a two-run eight, eighth inning. The New York Yankees beat the Toronto Blue Jays in game three of this series, and the Yankees sweep this series. Jonathan Holder got the win. Elvis Luciana got the loss, and Aroldis Chapman now has six saves on the season. The Baltimore Orioles played the Chicago White Sox, and the White Sox won by a final score of 10-4. to The White Sox put up some crooked numbers in this game, including a five-run fifth inning that helped them win this one by six runs. Gio Gonzalez got the win, and Cole Stewart got the loss. The Minnesota Twins played the Los Angeles Angels. Final score of this game was 9-7. to Some offense was traded off, and... There were several home runs in this game. The Angels got a couple home runs, most notably in that fourth inning. Uh, it was a seven-run fourth inning filled with some home runs. Matt Andres got the win. He's now 2-1. and one. Jalice Jassin got the loss, and Hansel Robles now has nine saves on the season. The Detroit Tigers played the Kansas City Royals. This was another offensive-filled game. Final score of this one was 10-6, and the Tigers put it away in the eighth and ninth inning, scoring two runs in the eighth and three runs in the ninth. David McKay got the win. Trevor Rosenthal got his first losing decision of the season. And Joe Jimenez has reached double-digit saves now. He's at 10. Interleague baseball between the Cleveland Indians and the San Francisco Giants. And the Giants got shut out in this one. Final score, 4 to nothing. Shane Bieber got the win, and Derek Rodriguez got the loss. The Tampa Bay Rays played the Oakland Athletics, and... The A's won by a score of 5-2. The Rays can only score in the fifth inning. Meanwhile, the Athletics got runs in the fourth, the sixth, and the eighth inning. TJ McFarlane got the win. Brendan McKay got the loss. And Liam Hendricks now has 12 saves. AL West baseball between the Houston Astros and the Seattle Mariners. And although the Mariners put up some runs early, the Astros put up even more early. Six runs through the first three innings for the Astros, who also put up a three spot in the top of the ninth and carried this one away. Josh James got the win, and Marco Gonzalez, he got the loss. The Pittsburgh Pirates beat the Miami Marlins by a score of 8-6. to six. Chris Stratton got the win, Urena got the loss, and Keone Kella now has 10 saves on the season. The Colorado Rockies played the Philadelphia Phillies. This game took 12 innings to get a conclusion, but the Phillies were able to walk it off in the bottom of the 12th inning. Guerra got the win, and McGee got the loss uh, on the mound for the Rockies. And at least baseball between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves, and the Mets came out and won by a final score of 4-2. Michael Walker got the win, Mike Soroka got the loss, and Edwin Diaz now has eight saves on the season with the Mets. The Cincinnati Reds and the Washington Nationals played each other, and this game took 10 innings to complete. The Nationals got their first three runs, all in the sixth inning, and the Reds came back in the top of the eighth and came back all the way in that top of the eighth inning, scoring all three of their runs in the eighth, but the Nationals were able to walk it off in the bottom of the tenth inning, and they won by a run. Ronis Elias got the win, and Cody Reed got the loss. NL Central Baseball between the Milwaukee Brewers and the St. Louis Cardinals. This one was won by the Brewers, 9-3. The Brewers' losing streak has come to an end after this win. Corbin Burns got the win, and Daniel Ponce de Leon, he got the loss. The Cubs and Diamondbacks played each other, and the Diamondbacks carried this one away. It was an eight-run win for the Diamondbacks, who got their first eight runs all in the second inning. Luke Weaver got his first winning decision of the year, and Tyler Chatwood is now 2-1. The San Diego Padres won the rubber match of this three-game series. Final score 3-0. The Dodgers were shut out. Zach Davies got the win, David Price got the loss, and Kirby Yates earned his 12th save of the season. Let's take a look at standings now, starting in the American League East. The New York Yankees are on a three-game winning streak now. They just swept the Blue Jays, and they are in first place in this division. 22-13 is their record. 
The Baltimore Orioles lost today and are losing pace now with the Yankees. They're a game and a half back with a 20-14 and 14 record. The Tampa Bay Rays are on a four-game losing streak now. They're 19 and 17, three and a half games back, though Blake Snell got activated today, so he'll be entering their rotation moving forward. The Toronto Blue Jays are on a three-game losing streak. They got swept by the Yankees. They're 15 and 19, six and a half games back now of the division. And the Boston Red Sox gaining some traction. They're on a three-game winning streak. They've won seven of their last 10 games. They're 14 and 22. They're eight and a half games back of the division lead, and they're two games back of the Blue Jays now. In the American League Central, the Chicago White Sox continue to lead this division. They are 22 and 12. The Cleveland Indians are 20 and 16. They're on a three-game winning streak. They're three games back of the division. The Twins lost today, although they're still three games back of the division with a 19 and 15 record. The Detroit Tigers on a six-game winning streak. They're 12 and 22, though they're still 10 games back of the division lead. And the Kansas City Royals on a 15-game losing streak. They are 9 and 25. They're 13 games back of this division. In the American League West, the Oakland Athletics are 21 and 15. They're pulling away now with the division lead. They're on a five-game winning streak as well. The Houston Astros are 18 and 16. They're on a small two-game winning streak. They're two games back of the division. The Los Angeles Angels won today. They're 15 and 18, four and a half games back of the division. The Texas Rangers are on a four-game losing streak. They've fallen to fourth place now. They're five and a half games back of the division. And the Seattle Mariners still in last place with a 15 and 21 record. They are six games back of the division. In the National League East, the Washington Nationals are 22 and 11. They still lead this division. The Marlins lost to the Pirates today. They're 19 and 15, three and a half games back of the division. The Philadelphia Phillies are 17 and 17. They're five and a half games back of the division. They've won six of their last ten. The Atlanta Braves still inconsistent in the win column. They're 17 and 19. They're six and a half games back of the division. And the New York Mets, although they won today against the Braves, they're still in last place. 14 and 20 is their record. They're eight and a half games back of the division. In the National League Central, the Milwaukee Brewers stringing together some wins now. They've got two straight wins. They're 19 and 15. They still lead this division, though they've lost seven of their last 10 games. The Cubs have also lost seven of their last 10. They lost today. They're 18 and 17, one and a half games back of the division, and they couldn't capitalize on the Brewers' losing streak from before. The St. Louis Cardinals have lost two straight now. They're 17 and 18. They're two and a half games back of the division. The Pittsburgh Pirates are five games back of the division in fourth place with a 14 and 20 record. And the Cincinnati Reds are 13 and 20, five and a half games back of the division. In the National League West, the San Diego Padres won the last two games of the three game series with the Dodgers and they still lead this division. 23 and 11 is their record. The Dodgers are 21 and 12. They're one and a half games back of the division. Though these two will play each other again next weekend in another three-game series, and one of those games will be featured here on the network, so you can take a look at what time that is on Friday. The San Francisco Giants are 17 and 17. They're six games back of the division. They're on a three-game losing streak. The Arizona Diamondbacks are 16 and 18. They're seven games back of the division, though they won today. And the Colorado Rockies lost today. They're 12 and 20, and they're 10 games back of the division. Let's take a look at league leaders now, starting in the American League with batting average leaders. Chris Davis, 391 batting average. He's a notorious power hitter, but he is hitting for contact and average as well this season. He leads this category in the American League. DJ LeMayhew in second place, 385 batting average he has, and Jose Abreu closely behind him with a 384 batting average. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. still tops this category. He has a 375 batting average. Jonathan VR has a 359 batting average. He's second best in the National League. Paul Goldschmidt, third best with a 356 batting average. Hits leaders in the American League, Jose Abreu still leads in this category with 56. DJ LeMayhew closely behind him with 55. And Chris Davis closely behind LeMayhew with 54. Miguel Andujar, another player who has over 50 hits this season. He's fourth best in the American League. In the National League, Jonathan Villar, the only player above 50 hits this season so far. He has 52. Ronald Acuna Jr., second best with 48. And Paul Goldschmidt rounds out the top three with 47 hits. 
at bat leaders in the American League. J.D. Martinez has some company now. He and Miguel Andujar are tied for the most amount of at-bats this season. Jose Abreu, third best with 156. In the National League, Jonathan Villar and Ozzy Albies each have 145, and Bryce Harper, third best with 139. Doubles leaders in the American League, Miguel Andujar has passed Jose Iglesias for best in the American League. He has 15 doubles. Jose Iglesias with 14, good for second best in the American League. And then three players tied for third. It's Jose Abreu, Anthony Rendon, and Marcus Semien. In the National League, Jonathan Villar leads this category. He has 17 doubles. Christian Yelich and Trey Turner each tied for second best with 13. And Cattell Marte, fourth best with 12 doubles this season among National League players. Triples leaders in the American League, Jose Altuve is still Leads this category, he has four. Oscar Mercado and Whit Merrifield each have three. That's good for second best in the American League. National League Triples leaders, Jonathan Villar with four. Trey Turner, Hunter Pence, as Drupal Cabrera, Andrew McCutcheon, and Chris Bryant all tied for second best. They have three. Home run leaders in the American League. This category still belongs to Chris Davis. He has 18 home runs this season. His teammate is tied for second best in the American League with Josh Donaldson. They each have 13 home runs this season so far. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. with 14 home runs. That leads all National League players. Paul Goldschmidt has 13. Max Muncy has 12. And Corey Seager, the only other player with double-digit home run totals, he has 10. RBI leaders in the American League, Chris Davis now has a hand in this category as well uh, for the lead. 38 RBIs, ties Lourdes Gurriel Jr. for the best in the American League. Jose Abreu and DJ LeMahieu each tied for third best with 36. And if you've been keeping track, Chris Davis right now has a triple crown lined up in the American League. Still early in the season, but he leads in batting average home runs and RBIs as of right now. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt, 36 RBIs. That leads everybody, and he's the only player with over 30 and he leads the next best player by nine RBIs. Cody Bellinger second best with 27. Then Jonathan VR, Corey Seager, Christian Yelich, and Nolan Arenado each tied for third best with 26. American League runs scored leaders. Chris Davis, Jose Abreu each with 31 and Yohan Moncada has 30 runs scored among American League players this season. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has scored 33 runs. He's trailed by Paul Goldschmidt and Trey Turner, who are tied at second best with 28. Stolen base leaders in the American League. This category still belongs to Aldalberto Mondesi. He has nine. He's trailed by Malik Smith and Mike Trout, who have seven. In the National League, Starling Marte still leads this category. He has 12. Trey Turner in double digits with 10, and Ronald Acuna Jr. and Tim LoCastro each tied for third best with nine. American League walks leaders. Jordan Alvarez has joined the lead in this category. He has 22 walks, tied with Robbie Grossman and Mike Trout for the most. Alex Bregman, Shinsu Chu, and Giancarlo Stanton each have 21. That's tied for fourth best in the American League. In the National League, Reese Hoskins still leads this category. He has 26 bases on balls this season. Daniel Descalzo has 23. That's good for second best. And then Justin Turner as Drupal Cabrera and Freddie Freeman each tied for third best with 22. On base percentage leaders in the American League, Mike Trout has the lead in this category. He has a 460 on base percentage. Trailed closely by Chris Davis who has a 458. And DJ LeMay who rounds out the top three. He has a 452 on base percentage. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. leads this category with a 460 on base percentage. Paul Goldschmidt at second best with a 441, and Daniel Descalzo has a 433. Slugging percentage leaders in the American League, Chris Davis, the only American League player with over an 800 slugging percentage. He has an 841 slugging percentage. Mike Trout with a 733. That's good for second best. And Jose Abreu on the brink of 700. He has a 699 slugging percentage uh, to this point in the season. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr., the only National League player to have a slugging percentage over 800. He has an 812 slugging percentage, best in the league. Paul Goldschmidt, second best with 742. And Christian Yelich, third best with 721. 
On base percentage plus slugging percentage leaders in the American League. Chris Davis, 1.299. That leaves the American League. Mike Trout with a 1.193. And DJ LeMahieu has a 1.130. OPS leaders in the National League. Ronald Acuna Jr., 1.273. That's good for best in the National League. Paul Goldschmidt, second best. And Christian Yelich, third best. Now for pitcher statistics, leaders in wins among American League pitchers, Asher Wojciechowski and Lucas Giolito stole at the top of this list. They each have five wins. In the National League, Pablo Lopez, Walker Bueller, and Denelson Lamett each also tied for the top spot, also with five wins. Still those undefeated in the American League are shown on this screen. Dylan Bundy, Tyler Glasnow, Chris Bassett, Asher Wojcikowski, Mike Miner, Ronaldo Lopez, and Kenta Maeda, all still without losses on the mound this season in the American League. In the National League, that number is slightly fewer, but Walker Bueller, Caleb Smith, Freddie Peralta, Trevor Bauer, Denelson Lamont, Kevin Gosman, those who are undefeated among National League pitchers. Saves leaders in the American League. Several players have reached double-digit save totals now, but Brad Hand is still the leader in the American League with 14. Liam Hendricks has 12, and Michael Givens and Nick Anderson tied for third best with 11. In the National League, there's a three-way tie or a four-way tie for the most amount of saves in this league. Josh Hader, Craig Kimbrell, Sean Doolittle, and Kirby Yates all have 12. Giovanni Gallegos and Kenley Jansen each tied for fifth best with 11. And Keone Kella rounds out those with double-digit totals. He has 10. American League ERA leaders. Tyler Glass now, the only American League pitcher with an under-2 ERA. In the National League, Trevor Bauer has gotten his earned run average under 1. He has a .96 ERA now on the season. And there are still four other pitchers with an ERA under 2 in the National League. That includes Walker Bueller, Caleb Smith, Freddie Peralta, and Mike Soroka. Least amount of home runs allowed among American League pitchers. There's a four-way tie for the least. Brandon Bailey, Gio Gonzalez, Frankie Montas, and John Means each have only given up two home runs so far this season. In the National League, Caleb Smith and Garrett Richards have given up one singular home run so far this year, and that's good enough for best on this list. Shutouts among American League pitchers. Garrett Cole, Masahiro Tanaka still lead this category. In the National League, the lead still belongs to Walker Bueller and Zach Wheeler. They each have two. Pablo Lopez, David Price, and Jacob deGrom have thrown one shutout so far this year. Nobody else qualifies because they haven't thrown one. Strikeout leaders in the American League, Garrett Cole and Lucas Giolito still top this category with 57. Shane Bieber has 54, and Carlos Carrasco and Charlie Morton tied for fourth best with 52 strikeouts so far this year. In the National League, Chris Archer is still leading this category. He has 62 strikeouts this season. Clayton Kershaw right behind him with 61, and Max Scherzer rounds out the top three. He has 56 strikeouts. Complete games thrown. Among American League pitchers this season, Garrett Cole and Masahiro Tanaka still leading this category with two. In the National League, Walker Bueller and Zach Wheeler each still lead this category as well. They have each thrown two complete games this season. And there are a few other names that haven't thrown a complete game shutout, but have thrown a complete game this season, and they're on the list right there. Innings pitched leaders uh, in the American League, Shane Bieber, the first American League pitcher to surpass 50 innings pitched this season. He has 52 and a third innings tallied. In the National League, Johnny Cueto lost his Major League Baseball lead, but he is still the leader in the National League with 50 and two-thirds innings pitched. Walks allowed, or at least amount of walks allowed, so to speak. Carlos Carrasco is still at the top of this list. He's only allowed five walks this season so far. Madison Baumgartner is still leading the National League with four walks allowed. Whip leaders in the American League, Carlos Carrasco and Zach Blizak, each with under a one whip. In the National League, Walker Bueller and Pablo Lopez, and Mike Soroka for that matter, all under one for whip in the National League. Pitching wins above replacement, Charlie Morton and Shane Bieber each 
close to each other. Top two, they have a 1.3 war. Carlos Carrasco, Garrett Cole, and Chase Anderson, all some variation of 1.2. And Eduardo Rodriguez, the only American League pitcher above one for wins above replacement, is a 1.1. In the National League, Chris Archer is still at the top of this category. 1.5 is his war. Walker Bueller, Caleb Smith, and Hugh Darvish, and Steven Strasburg, all with a 1.3 war among pitchers in the National League. Batting war for American League players, Chris Davis and Mike Trout deservedly still topping this list. They have a 2.8. DJ LeMahieu rounds out the top three. He has a 2.7 war. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. up a little bit from yesterday. He has a 3.5 now, and he still tops this category. Still tops all of baseball as well. The only one with an over three war to this point in the season. Jonathan Villar. One full point below him with a 2.5 war, and Christian Yelich rounds out the top three with a 2.4 war. These have been your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Sunday, May the 3rd, 2020. I'm Nicholas Callis. You've been watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network.